and um, I to give this talk uh, on cosmic rays and climate. And I have to say right at the outset that um, I'm not going to be providing answers in this talk. I'm going to be providing uh, questions and uncertainties and hopefully stimulate your interest in the subject, but uh, I certainly won't be providing answers because I don't know what the answers are myself. Let me uh, tell you uh, why aerosols are important for clouds. Every cloud droplet has a seed inside called the cloud condensation nuclei, nucleus. When you increase the number of uh, CCN inside a cloud, you increase and keep this, the water content brighter. In other words, spread the water over more droplets, it bright, its brightness increases. So it becomes a more reflective cloud. That's one aspect. The second aspect is that it actually rains out more slowly. Clouds rain out because droplets start to condense, uh, co coalesce when they get big enough by gravitation and then they drop out. If you spread that out over more droplets, the cloud will stay longer. Now, there are very, there's plenty of evidence that large regions of the climate are lacking sufficient aerosol to form clouds. Contrails are a, a well-known example of that. These are not smoke trails. These are clouds which are seeded by jets dumping aerosols into the upper atmosphere. Uh, also, less familiar, but also very important, these are ship tracks, and this is a huge area. This is the north coast of America, there's Alaska. These are ship tracks over Alaska, and their, their clouds being seeded by, by uh, extra aerosol. Now, in particle physics, we do know that charged particles can form condensation seeds, but we have to say instantly that this is a non-natural condition. This is where we generate several hundred percent supersaturation. These are not smoke trails, these are clouds which are seeded by jets dumping aerosols into the upper atmosphere. 